and talking a bit about learning lessons from the pandemic, we do have an audience question that I'd like to go to from Mary in Texas, who asks, what is the most important thing you know now that you wish you had known at the beginning of the pandemic? Commissioner? Oh, wow, what a great question. Um, where to start? Um, we'll let Mary ask the rest of the questions today. Yeah, yeah, Mary, Mary's going, coming for your job, Dan. Um, <laughs> you know, I think that I would have tried to understand how painful the pandemic was. And then as we exited the pandemic or we as we exited the um, worst of it, how much pain might be unleashed um, in terms of people's reactions to what they had to go through over the prior two years. I entered this job in early 2022. Um, and after more than you know two years of, of, of a lot of fear, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of shifting information and shifting science, um, and a lot of en masse behavioral changes that that were required to keep people safe. And that I think I I couldn't I didn't really appreciate and but um, wish I could have from the beginning kind of understood how the toll that that took on people. As someone who's uh, interested in and has been working in mental health for a while, I think I conceptually understood how hard that would be, but in seeing people's reaction to the post-emergency or the post uh, worst of COVID era, um, I saw a lot of pain, a lot of anger, a lot of fear. Um, I had protesters coming to my home on a weekly basis for you know seven, eight months straight, um, and and I didn't understand it at first. You know, I didn't understand what would drive people to act that way and to respond that way. But you know when you really try to empathize with others and see how much pain they're in, um, I think I underestimated that. And um, I think that might have, whether it would have led me to make any different decisions, I'm not sure, but it, you know, certainly the way you communicate, the humanity with which you communicate, the empathy with which you communicate um, shifts when you, you see people as humans first and people who have all, we've all been through this kind of collective trauma and we're in, we're still, in this collective hypervigilance and post-trauma state, and uh, part of what worries me is that we want to—we don't want to talk about it anymore. And that's not the right way to heal from trauma. The right way to heal from trauma is to address it head-on and to to work your way through it. And I don't think we're really doing that as a society yet. 